Thanks for tuning in. We are going to go over a 80 series suspension system, which is super easy. You only need a wrench and a couple tools. Psych. This is the overdub version of what I'm about to show you. Uh, you will need some tools and you will have some fun and it's not going to be easy. So let's go ahead with jacking up the 80 series. You're going to go ahead and put a um, couple of scissor jacks underneath the axle itself uh, for the ability just to kind of move it up and down a little bit easier. Uh, plus, I'm also doing the caster bushings. Um, you can see I have a jack there, a couple of wood blocks um, under the front bumper or the frame, under the tow hooks, and uh, I'm going to be replacing both the shock, which is a bolt underneath here, and a bolt up top, which are both 19 millimeters, and uh, getting rid of the spring, um, which are all stock from what I understand. We're going to be putting a Dobinson from Australia, all around stock. We're not doing a lift kit, um, but stock height, so... Uh, I got my um, caster bushing bolts. They're soaking, which is always a good idea. Did that last night. And um, showing off a little few tools. This is my mother-in-law's uh, garage, so forgive the political statements. Uh, we, I, I purchased a uh, uh, H, H frame press, 20 ton, uh, much needed for those caster bushings. So uh, you went ahead and used channel locks and uh, crescent wrench to get rid of the top driver side bolt on the on the strut. And then this is a coil compressor. So I got that just from our local Harbor Freight and uh, using an impact here and uh, did really well. I uh, was pretty uh, surprised with it um, and just slipped right on out. The passenger side seemed to be a little bit easier for some reason. Um, but uh, take another replay at that. It was a beautiful thing to pull that out. Um, again, I lowered the axle as far as I could uh, before I started any noticing that's a safety mechanism for the the uh, compressor anyway so uh went ahead and used eastwood paint highly recommend this product for all the under framing and uh all the parts that i couldn't get uh, i did all that a few weeks ago uh, those are the new uh springs and there's the rear and the front the rear are actually a little bit wider uh in diameter so make sure you take a note of that and they're labeled right side left side and i just took it as right side driver and left side as passenger seem to work out and um really nice i'll probably do a review on these things uh didn't want to go with old man emu just because i don't know i just didn't didn't feel right so not that i'm dissing it but uh just didn't feel right for me uh the the teal is really cool i forgot it's a different kind of color uh, anyway went ahead put on a uh, cold compressor and uh it is quite loud and so i made sure to wear um Earmuffs, I'm, maybe I'm just a sensitive creature, and I didn't like the sound of the actual impact. But putting these in was uh, a little bit daunting. I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't going to be able to get it in. But because you do have a little bit of flex uh, in that front axle, I think I actually also removed the sway bar, um, which are 12 millimeter bolts or 14, one or the other. So I actually popped right in. I was super happy about that. Uh, as you can tell, it's a lot easier. And then you go ahead and release um, the actual spring compressor itself. Um, it's a beautiful tool. Highly recommend it. Um, with uh, anyway, I was really excited to do this suspension. Uh, I want to do a video that shows all the other stuff maintenance-wise that you should probably do before you even do the fun stuff. Um, this is not a recommended thing to do right off the bat. And I know it's super tempting, but you got to start doing the other maintenance before you actually start doing this stuff. So this is like three and a half years, four years in the making of wanting to get this done. So once you get that done and fully uncompressed or decompressed, you're going to go ahead and find these slots actually on top of the axle. Uh, I don't know if they, they probably have a technical term, but you can find it in the, the actual coil spring itself will not um, continue to rotate and uh, that makes itself locked in and ready to go. I didn't get any uh, information right here so there's the notch down there but the strut's really easy it compresses and it just goes slots right back up into the actual holes so those are pretty easy and I didn't feel like you needed to see those. Thanks for tuning in guys appreciate all the love and support. Take care.